Hi, good morning. You may be asking, what is the hat about today? Slightly odd video, not what I normally do, but I just wanted to say how we'd had such a busy and amazing weekend. Hence the hat. We have been to two Comic Cons over the weekend. We went to Liverpool, which was okay, but it was too busy, too big. Perhaps I'm just getting too old for it. Um, it, it was just too much, so we didn't get to enjoy it perhaps as much as we should have. And then we went to one at Elsica, which is a little bit more local to us, still a little bit of travel, but not too bad. And that was lovely. It was a little bit smaller, but everyone was friendly and we got to see people we know as well, which was great. Um, my son was really happy. He got to see Sylvester McCoy, uh, who was one of the Doctor Who's, if you don't know. And he hold oh, that. That man is so nice. He was so nice with everybody. He was so funny. Um, so that was good as well. But basically, if you don't know what a Comic Con is, it's about a celebration of either film characters, TV, gaming. Um, you know, you've got your Spider-Mans, you've got comic books. There's all sorts. There's always stalls, which are always good. You always like to do a little bit of spending. But again, it's just the whole people coming together who enjoy certain things. And there's no judgment. It doesn't matter who you are or what character you like. Everybody's chatting. Everyone's taking photos of each other. It was just a really nice community feeling. Uh, we've done these Comic Cons for a while, but obviously during COVID we were sort of paused for a little while. So these are the first ones really we've come back to. Now, my family do actually compete in the cosplay, again, hence the hat, because we like dressing up. Um, so it's the first time they've been back to doing that as well. So my craft room has been absolute nightmare while everyone's been preparing their costumes in here. There has been paint, there has been EVA foam, there has been fabric. It is slowly getting back to normal. I've done a little bit of tidying over the last couple of days, um, but yeah, it's still a bomb site. Now I'm also trying to catch up with my videos. I've got crochet videos to do. I've got some Jubilee videos to do, dolls, unboxing. I've got so many things to do. So I'm trying to get sort of a couple out at a time. So I'm hoping to film two today and then it will be Thursday before I do the next one. But I've got some nice crochet. I've got some nice Jubilee bunting. And we've also got a little crochet hat for Cindy, which is a crown, very similar to the one that I did for the chocolate orange cover. So that's a bit of fun as well. But going back to these Comic Cons, now, as I mentioned, they compete. They don't just dress up and go. Some people just dress up and go, which is great. It's whatever you want to do. But mine are a little bit on the competitive side and like to compete. Up to now, we've done quite well over the years. But as I say, it's the first one back after a couple of years. So it's a little bit weird, you know, getting back into the routine. Now, in Liverpool, my son did get an honourable mention in that one, but that was quite a sort of a sort of a high-end competition. So we were really pleased with that. Um, but then in the Elsica one, I'm very pleased to say he took first place in the heat for the Unleashed Events uh, comic sort of finals championships that are going to be later and that's going to be in New York so he's planning on doing all sorts of alterations to his costume he wants to make it better and he wants to put lights in he wants to put smoke in those are areas I've not seen before so I'll be curious to see how he does that and sort of sit and work with him uh, to sort that out so he took first in the championships heat so that was brilliant but then my granddaughter took first place in the under 14s masquerade which is the sort of this that's a little sort of cosplay event that anybody can join in whether it's store-bought or whether it is homemade and then my daughter took second place in the adults for that one as well i refer to store store made and handmade for a reason because if you are competing in the championships you do have to have your costume homemade it has to be a minimum of 75 percent some will ask for 90 percent most of the costumes that are made here we do sort of hit that 90 95 percent even almost everything is handmade on the costumes so i will try and pop some pictures in as i speak my son went as a hunter from monster hunter my daughter went as krampus i know it's a funny time of year but it looked amazing as you will get to see and my granddaughter did astrid so from how to train a dragon she's done that one before but we had to remake it because she's grown a bit over the last two years and my grandson bless him first convention for him absolutely loved it he was so excited because there was a spider-man and then there was an iron giant and there was all these characters that he liked so he was quite excited and he went as batman and he was brilliant with it so it was a great sort of 
weekend well i'd say the sunday was the better day that was a good family day sunday because we went outside and they had some sandwiches and picnics and then we went back inside the building and everyone was just back and forth and i said great to see people i've not seen for a while to say hello obviously a little bit of spending going off there as much as i didn't really spend this time i think i've sort of got enough of that sort of item i'd rather concentrate on my doll type items now but saying that my granddaughter did get a doll she got a cat cat woman was it cat woman no bat woman we mind about cat woman it was bat girl um and she was lovely she got her for a nice price so the kids enjoyed buying some things there was a fudge store so we got some fudge and it was all a really really nice week obviously icing on the cake they won the competition i'm going to put all the photos well not all of them i will put a group of photos on the end of this video if you would like to see what they were wearing and what we got up to you won't see many photos of me i think there's maybe two something like that i don't really like having my photograph taken um but it was the whole family there my daughter's husband he didn't dress up this time um but obviously because we've got the kids to watch and all that sort of thing and then uh, my son's girlfriend she did dress up on the saturday but then she didn't dress up on the sunday but she's very camera shy so she doesn't like a photo taken so i won't be putting any photos up of her although i never got one i only ever got the back of her because she hid it every time i got the camera out not everybody likes to have their photo done and that is something that's important to remember if you do go to one of these comic conventions if you want to take a photo of someone, please ask. I mean, it doesn't bother me if someone's trying to take a sneaky picture off at the side, you know, up to them. But it is a little bit of an invasion of somebody's privacy. And as they do say, cosplay is not consent. You ask. If you be polite, 99% of them will go, yeah, great, go on, take a picture. Um, because they know that that's what it's about. But it is only polite to ask before you do that, because it is a big thing within this area. So I think that's about it, really. Just to say how much we enjoyed the Sunday rather than the Saturday, unfortunately. But yeah, great day. Got to see Sylvester McCoy, as I've said, so which was good. Got some photos of with him. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else, really. It was just chaos. Chaos, but great. So relieved to get out of the costumes, though, when you get home. And now I've got to continue tidying up. My front room's tidy. My kitchen's tidy. My dining room is full of costumes. You cannot move. And I'm slowly getting this tidied up here. If you do enjoy my videos, I know this one's a little bit on off tangent. Uh, please like, subscribe, etc, etc. And if you've stayed with me through this long, have a look at these photos. I think you might enjoy them. I'm really proud of the family really pleased how the costumes turned out and i think they did exceptional so yay we can't wait for york now because uh, obviously my son's going forward to that one so we'll see what happens when that comes around so that's it i think i think i've talked too much probably i will see you all soon with either a doll or a crochet video and take a look at these pictures and see you soon